Aloha everyone and welcome to Lillian's Vegan World, the only show in Hawaii where we talk about the plant-based diet and the vegan lifestyle. Coming to you live from uh, Honolulu, we're not in the studios anymore so we're doing it um, all virtual now and I have a really, really awesome guest that I do want to introduce to you. Um, most of you know that I love cheese, vegan cheese, so I was very excited to come across my guest on a social media page and I'm here to introduce her and welcome her to the show, Erin Olivari. Hi, <laughs> Aloha. Aloha, Aloha, Erin. Thank you welcome so to much. The show. Oh, Thank you so much for having pleasure. me. My pleasure. I knew I had to have you on, Erin, because uh, as soon as we met, I, you know, immediately there's the radar goes up when I hear the word vegan cheese. And uh, you are actually a cheesemaker, owner and founder of the Vegan Cheese Shop here in uh, Hawaii on Oahu. So first of all, um, how are you? Fifth month into COVID-19 here in Hawaii. How are things going in that respect? Um, thank you so much for having me. It's it's been definitely an interesting time and a journey. And I can't believe it's been five months already. The time has just been flying by, doing a lot, working a lot on new products, a lot of home cooking, of course, using the product different ways. And so it's been really nice to get to spend time at home and, you know, just trying to stay healthy and just be productive, as productive as possible and positive. Yes. <laughs> yes, excellent advice. You you look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. you know, so well. you you must be doing something right. I mean, you just mentioned the above, and before we actually went on air, you were telling me how you love to spend time outdoors at the beach, surfing, paddleboarding. So all of that really does help make up for a you know well balanced, um, healthy lifestyle. It's not only about the food. But we are here, Ellen, to talk about your gorgeous cheese. And I wanted to show you, I have a little surprise. <laughs> My husband and I did pick your cheese up. So tell us about this uh, product first, Erin. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much for picking it up at Down to Earth, I believe. Yes, uh, Down to I Earth. I love Down to Earth. First of all, I just have to say what a wonderful store, you know, family community they are and they really really support local products which i love so much and they have been a wonderful partner so what you have there is our flagship product our macadamia nut brie it is nice. made from our hawaiian grown macadamia nuts also some premium cashews it's about a 70 to 30 70 percent macadamia nut 30 percent cashews and then a touch of lemon juice and hawaiian sea salt so it's a very simple um, ingredient list and um, it makes a free like alternative so it's great for your cheese plate that's what I was mostly missing when I went vegan and dairy free was the cheese plate because I love to have mm -hmm. a glass of wine and something a little delicious with that so that was the intention of this product and it is available at down to earth locations on Oahu and Maui it's also on the big island at Island Naturals Market in Kona, Hilo, and Pahoka. So some nice locations there. And um, it's just, like I said, it's really great for the cheese plate. It's great for entertaining. And it's also a conversation piece if you're having a little group over. It is, and it's absolutely delicious. I, oh. I enjoyed it. I'll definitely um, definitely be purchasing more. It was, it was beautiful. And I love that you did add some cashews to it because I find that 100% of the mac nut cheeses tend to be a bit on the gritty side texture-wise. So I mm -hmm. think um, I think you did an awesome job in uh, getting that nice creamy texture. And what I also loved about your cheese, Erin, was it had a really nice cultured taste to it. Mm. Thank so, you so much. Yes, I highly recommend it. And we enjoyed it with uh, some of my sun-dried tomato jam. Mm. So yeah. if you have a if you have a nice you know jam or something a fig or a date if figs are not your thing maybe a nice date pate or jam or something something sweet to go with it I I do recommend so that's um, that's an awesome product Erin tell me about how you came to start um, 
creating vegan cheeses. Are you vegan? I am actually, now I can say I've been plant-based for a long time about, well, vegetarian for the past eight years. And then I went dairy-free about six years ago. And I would enjoy seafood on occasion with my husband out at restaurants here and there, just to, you know, be able to share something. And since we're in Hawaii, the fish is just so abundant. But, you know, during the lockdown, I decided since I was cooking so much and we weren't going out to restaurants, it was an amazing time to really just go full vegan. And it's just, it's been incredible. And I, I would say I was mostly, but it's just been a wonderful change for both. And my husband went um, vegan as well. So that was a really great um, experiment to do. And I really enjoy the plant-based diet. I can't talk about it highly enough. And kind of how I came to it was I've always been really focused on a healthy diet and what that means. So I grew up in California, Central Valley, where a lot of our fresh fruits and vegetables come from. And my dad worked with a lot of farmers. So we always had fresh fruits and vegetables around. My mom cooked um, meals at home almost every night. So I really kind of feel like those two together fruits and vegetables and preparing meals at home really combine to make a healthy diet. So I've really come to appreciate that from a very young age. So um, after I went to school in San Diego, I moved out to New York. And in New York City, I, you know, tried everything. I ate at almost every restaurant. There's such amazing food there. But after eating out and working in restaurants and trying just about everything, I felt this call back to healthy eating. And I just, you know, I felt that there was something lacking and I wanted to get back to a healthier diet, one that I was preparing. And so I started taking nutrition classes and I ended up going back to school at NYU. I I found a really amazing master's program called Food Studies. And that was a great program because I actually had a a bachelor's degree in in business marketing. So this was a program that was open to both business students, uh, restaurateurs, the like, not just for nutrition students. So I got into that program and it was changed my life in many ways. But I would say the biggest impression that it made on me is when we were going over food production. And it was then that I realized that the only possible healthy meat was organic, farm-raised, pasture-raised, um, free-range. And some of myself and some of the other students started looking up ways to actually enjoy healthy meat. And it was incredibly hard to find. It was incredibly expensive. And I decided as a, just as an experiment, I would give up meat and see how it was. Because I enjoyed mostly fruits and vegetables anyway. And, um, and that just stuck, it was very, very easy. And um, I gave up meat and I didn't really look back at all, but I was still enjoying cheese on occasion because it is one of my favorite foods. And as you know, it's very abundant in the vegetarian diet. Cheese is just about in every recipe. So I, actually I became intolerant of dairy and just, I couldn't digest it anymore. So I had to give it up. and. I went about a year of dairy-free. I felt incredible for so many reasons, but I was greatly missing cheese, specifically the cheese plate. And so I felt that it was time for me to at least try a cheese alternative. So I started working on some recipes. Awesome, Erin. That's interesting. So I, I was wondering if you were lactose intolerant because apparently studies are showing that about one third of Americans actually are lactose uh, intolerant Mm -hmm. and not many of them know that. So some of the symptoms for if you, if you think you might be lactose intolerant, basically lactose intolerance means uh, your body doesn't have the enzyme enough of the enzyme lactase that breaks down the sugars in milk, the sugar in milk that's called lactose. So people who are suffering or living with lactose intolerance basically can't digest milk. And when they do, the, the lactose in the milk uh, finds its way into the colon. 
And that's where it starts, uh, you get the symptoms of the bloating and the, um, the gas and flatulence and stuff. Right. It was, so, um, it was terrible for me. I know that a lot of people do have lactose intolerance and I wasn't sure if for me, I, that's why I kind of prefer dairy intolerance. I'm not sure if it's the lactose or the casein or something in dairy was not agreeing with me. And it was just a little strange because it kind of came out of the blue and it was very, very, you know, it was, it was unbearable. So yes, <laughs> we um, well, decided to give that up immediately. And then when I started doing research, I realized that so many people cannot digest dairy. And I would talk to people, whether it's on the plane or, you know, here and there and everyone's like, oh yeah, that happened to me. Or yeah, I can't have dairy either. So I just felt that not only for the the plant-based diet and vegans out there, but for so many Americans that cannot have dairy or, um, you know, do and regret it. Yeah, that's right. Well, a lot of um, research actually is showing that humans between the ages of about two to four years old stop um, having the ability to digest milk. So their lactate, the lactase in the human body immediately starts um, reducing. So basically humans are not supposed to be um, consuming or digesting another animal's right. uh, milk. It's yeah. the same way. Yeah. I mean, I always look at it when people say, well, why don't you drink milk? Why have you never drunk milk? Because I started off my journey as a vegetarian and I became <laughs> vegan about um, 13 or 14 years ago now. So it was a very easy transition for me. And like you, the last thing that I gave up was cheese because I absolutely loved cheese, but I never drank milk um, right. for, for a very long time. So when, so people ask like, why don't you drink milk? What was the, what was the thing that you hated the most about cow milk? <laughs> it's like, it's such an easy thing to answer. I don't want to drink milk the same way. I don't want to drink giraffe milk or monkey <laughs> milk. Or, right. or cat milk or dog milk. I mean, because I'm a human, um, it just seems very unnatural and unhealthy and uh, cruel, actually, in my opinion, you know, the way that the milk is being um, removed unwillingly from the animals also plays a role in, you know, in that. But more importantly, uh, a third of Americans are lactose intolerant. So we're here to tell you that you don't have to give up cheese on a vegan yeah. diet or a plant-based diet. So lots of, um, we've got some awesome pictures to show Erin. I just want to show one more quickly before the break of your uh, picture that you had ready for us. We'll get Melissa to bring that up. Look at that. That's a gorgeous <laughs> plate. Tell us about it. Sure. So this is our macadamia nut free, which we spoke of earlier. And um, how it's sold is in, you showed the box earlier, it is a three ounce round. So it is perfect for just right on, there it is. And it is just perfect for it on a little cheese plate. Um, as I said, I grew up in California, so I grew up with persimmon. So every time I see them in Hawaii, I just buy as many as I possibly can. And walnuts as well. And That's I've a nice always... combination, Erin, with the, with the pers persimmon. I do actually have to interrupt you, Erin, because we are going to take a quick break. Sure. and come back with more of uh, Lillian's Vegan World and my awesome guest, Erin Olivari of the Vegan Cheese Shop. Stay tuned for more. Aloha, I'm Christine Linders, a physical therapy specialist and the host of Movement Matters. My show is designed to teach you the simplest and most effective treatment strategies to get you out of pain and back to doing what you love. If you or someone you know is having pain in a certain area of the body, would like a free assessment in treatment over media or in person and then come on the show to talk about it email us at thinktechmovementmatters at gmail.com or if you have a topic you would like to know more about please email us my goal is to decrease pain all over the world inspiring people to take better care of their bodies to enjoy life to the fullest i look forward to hearing from you
Welcome back everyone to Lillian's Vegan World. I'm coming to you live today with the beautiful Erin Olivari of the Vegan Cheese Shop. And she's here telling us all about her gorgeous macadamia nut uh, vegan cheese, which is made in Hawaii, all, all the ingredients are made in Hawaii. Erin, one thing I loved about this is how few ingredients are in it. Yes, thank you. Um, as I was I'm partying on my vegan cheese journey. I just really wanted to create something um, that was very simple. I just kind of tend to appreciate very simple foods. And I also really wanted it to emulate traditional cheese, which has very few ingredients. So I started working with different tree nuts and each tree nut kind of came out like a different type of cheese. And cashews are incredible to use for cheese. They have such a wonderfully uh, rich, creamy texture. And they, uh, a little, they produce a little bit of a firmer cheese. And the macadamia nuts were really um, very rich, buttery, and made kind of a, like a very soft textured cheese. And so I kind of put them together to make a brie-like texture. And um, then just a little bit of the lemon juice kind of creates that culture sort of feel and flavor and then a little bit of Hawaiian sea salt and just kind of came together. It's one of these wonderful things that awesome. I just kind of I'm, I'm, yeah I'm so happy for you. I, I'm glad I'm glad Down to Earth picked up on your product and it is available there. Erin let's um, tell the viewers where you can order some of this if you want to order online. So wonderful. So we are available at Down to Earth locally, and we also have our virtual shop at theveganshishop.com, where we do have our flagship macadamia nut brie, as well as some other products, which are great with the brie. And we have other sizes as well. So we also have our, um, so the three ounce in the store, we also have our two ounce package, the six ounce. Oh, yum. on the um, website as well so it's kind of nice okay. to have two because you can have one for a cheese plate and the other one you can use in a recipe if you like um we also mm -hmm. launched a brand new product our taste of paradise vegan cheese platter which is a um, really nice selection of different um, flavors from hawaii and just pair, like sort of tropical flavors to pair with our macadamia nut brie and that can be shipped anywhere in the world. Fantastic. So get on it, viewers. Um, try some of the Mac uh, Mac brie. I think you're gonna love it. And also I do want to say how important I believe that it is to support made in Hawaii products. So especially now once we see how fragile our little island is once the tourists disappear, um, I think we do definitely need to start looking more into creating and uh, getting more products that are made in Hawaii out there for people to, yeah, to enjoy. So this is exactly one of those. Yes, great, I appreciate great job with that. the cheese. Mm. I'm sorry. My what pleasure. Was I was going to say, let's have a look at another one of your photos. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of my favorite ways to enjoy our macadamia nut brie besides the cheese plate is with a traditional caprese salad. So it works really nicely with fresh tomatoes, just in place of mozzarella, and drizzled with a little balsamic reduction, olive oil, and of course, basil on top. It's just very simple, but when tomatoes are in season like they are right now, especially in Hawaii, it's just a wonderful recipe to use to highlight both of the ingredients. Beautiful, Erin. You know what, when I, when I tried your cheeses, I was um, thinking that it, when I tried your cheese, pardon me, I was thinking that it would go really nicely with uh, roasted beets, roasted beetroot. Mm. Yeah, roasted beets be and maybe great. some chopped nuts or something on top. Mm. Yes, that would be incredible. That, yes, your cheese with a something uh, a little bit sweet on the side goes really well, I think. So, yeah, and there's to try. so many wonderful. Um, tropical fruits and I would love to try your recipe of the sun-dried tomato jam and yeah there's mm. lots of great fruits in Hawaii to try and there's Absolutely. also um, just to plug another um, local product the uh, Maui fruit jewels I don't know if you've tried those are really great they have a um, different um, 
they sell that down to earth as well, but they have a guava paste and a um, passion fruit that's really great with the brie as well. Nice. Excellent. I'll have to give it a try. <laughs> Let's have a look at another photo, Erin. Oh, so um, one of the other <laughs> recipes. You can tell I love Italian food. <laughs> but um, <laughs> who, do who doesn't? I know, right? So this is another recipe I love to make with the brie. Um, it's a really simple creamy pasta. So I'll use just a round of the brie. Add fresh basil, which is also in season right now, garlic and olive oil. And it's just blend and it's so easy and simple to make and it works with every pasta. Beautiful. That sounds so delicious. And we're coming to you live. So it's about 1.20 p.m. here in Hawaii. And I am so hungry now after seeing your, <laughs> seeing your <I> pictures. <laughs> what else have we got, Melissa? Can we have a look at another one? Is this the cheese platter that you were, you mentioned it earlier? It sure on? is. So this is our Taste of Paradise vegan cheese platter. It is um, features our macadamia nut brie, so it comes with four of the three ounce wheels. In the center is the guava fruit paste I was mentioning. So we um, have that in the kit as well, along with some other blueberry um, preserves from Bon Maman, a little bit of coconut chips. Also, uh, another one of our products is our Simply Roasted Almond. So again, from growing up in California, it's always had fresh um, California almonds around. And this is actually a family recipe that my dad would prepare for that for us. And it's just, there's like, again, like the name says, they are simply roasted, but they're just as healthy um, as a raw almond, but it's just so much tastier. So they're great on the cheese plate to add a little texture and another savory note along with the fruits and cheese. And um, it's, it's also available on our website as well. It's just a fun snack to have around. I know if you ordered something like that, all you have left to decide is red or white. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, I love it. Um, Erin, this is, this is one of my cheese platters. I also Incredible. make cheeses and these are all cashew cheeses. In the forefront, I have a chocolate cashew cheese. Mm -hmm. On the right is a roasted beets. Then Beautiful. in the center, there is my, um, my version of a brie, a vegan brie. It looks Again, incredible. At, <laughs> thank you. And there's a pistachio one to the right. Um, in the middle, a chili chocolate. And the other, the other brie one is actually a sunflower brie, uh, sunflower and beet cheese. Wonderful. Is yeah. The so, oh, yeah. The pistachio one is great. I love pistachios as well. Yeah. And again, I don't use... 100% uh, of the, the pistachios or the other nuts. It's usually about a 60, 70% cashews for, for mine. Yeah. And then I'll add a little bit more of something else just to play around with. But again, just to show you um, and the viewers out there how far we've come with vegan cheese. So you absolutely do not have to give up cheese if you're feeling you may be, you know, you may be suffering from lactose intolerance or you're interested in trying a plant-based uh, diet. So there's lots of gorgeous foods out there for, for, for us to try. I do want to show another picture, Erin. This mm -hmm. is also cashew cheeses. So top left, I have um, some cream cheeses. That's mm. chipotle paprika, smoked paprika, uh, just a regular cream cheese. To the right of that is a tofu feta that I bake actually and then put in olive oil extra virgin okay. olive oil right and it's yeah very popular here with amongst my friends yeah i'm sure it looks incredible my my friends only like me because i can cook i can tell <laughs> like they, they expect stuff from me all the time it's okay it's the way to <laughs> start not just the man i know and then cheese fondue also made made from cashews so Those yeah, lots of exciting incredible. stuff incredible Thank you. And one more I have is, this is the baked feta that mm -hmm. I'm working on. All of my recipes are on my Lillian Vegan Facebook page. I do have uh, about 200 recipes on my YouTube channel, Lillian Vegan. You can also take a look at my webpage, uh, also Lillian Vegan for any information. Um, I'm here in Honolulu, Erin. I actually do seven course vegan extravaganzas. Mm -hmm. 
incredible. Are they are those still in progress? Is there a hiatus on those? Or are you planning your next? There is a hiatus, yes. At the moment, I, I'm not because of the obvious um, COVID-19 rules and restrictions. But mm -hmm. yeah, I should be starting them up um, shortly. So anyone who wants to get in contact with me can contact me at Lillian Vegan on one of those uh, venues I just mentioned earlier. So Erin, tell us what's in, the, what's in the future for you and your husband here as regards your awesome business, your cheeses, anything you're working on? Um, yes, yeah, so we are just working on growing the business, you know, really focusing on, well, definitely the social media and the virtual cheese shop is a great business model at the moment. But um, actually what I'm working on now is um, a lot of recipes because I'm working towards opening up a uh, pop-up restaurant at my commercial kitchen, hopefully Wonderful. in August. Yeah, so it'd be fun just to have a couple of my recipes available and see how it goes. Because we've always dreamed of a restaurant, but this would be a, a way to maybe start out small scale and see how it does. Absolutely, that would be awesome. And you'll post this information on your webpage, I, I assume, if uh, when you actually do start your pop-up? Yes, pop -up. definitely uh, the website and social media for sure. Awesome. Well, that's a, that's great news. Count me in once you start. I will be there to support. And Erin, I do want to thank you so much for, for joining the show today, talking about your journey and the vegan shop, uh, the vegan cheese shop cheese that you produce. So here it is once again. Go get some from down to earth. Just make sure there's some left when I go shopping there. <laughs> thank you, Erin, for, for stopping by today. Take care and stay safe. Thank you, Lillian. My pleasure to everyone else. Aloha, have a wonderful day and see you next time on Lillian's Vegan World.